Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Sain Shurjo I am doing MTech in Computer Science and Engineering from IIT Bombay. I have also secured All India Rank 15 in GATE CSE 2022. Today we are going to discuss about the exact what the placement has gone in this year uh, in IIT Bombay. So the reality of the placements I will going to talk in this session. So one thing you can remember that ऐसा नहीं होता कि आईटी आने के बाद सब कुछ बहुत स्मूथ चलता है कि आईटी तो आ गया अभी तो प्लेसमेंट हो ही जाएगा कुछ भी ना करो ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि तुम बहुत कुछ कर रहे हो फिर भी तुम्हारा प्लेसमेंट नहीं हो रहा ठीक है ये तुम्हें डीमोटिवेट करने के लिए नहीं बोल रहा मैं बट ये हो सकता है तो हर चीज के लिए तैयार रखना सो एट फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एंटायर प्लेसमेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ आवर आईटी बॉम्बे हाउ द प्लेसमेंट हैज गॉन what is the exact tenure of our placements, what is the session of the placement uh, this year and then I will discuss the statistics of our placements uh, overall IIT Bombay and then I will discuss about the MTCS placement. So here uh, you all know like December 1 to December 15 our placements has, is going on has begun but that is not the case uh, we are doing our placement preparation and activities from July only July 2023. So at first we have to make some resume, uh, get that verified from each and every prof. So we need to verify everything in our resume uh, from the professors and from our BTEC. If, if we are doing any, giving any BTEC projects, we have to verify that uh, those from the BTEC professors. So nothing is uh, like not verified and all things that are putting in resume will be verified and in any case if and it is not, uh, it is scammed like that. Uh, you will be deregistered from the entire placement process. So uh, our placement process has begun from uh, July, August, you can see. Some uh, sessions has uh, conducted, has been conducted uh, like in July and August, like the interview preparation sessions, uh, the resume making sessions, all uh, kind of that. And attending uh, those sessions are mandatory for us to get some points that is called the incentive points. So uh, what are incentive points? It is some points that, are, that will, we have to use it uh, to apply in different companies. So if uh, we don't have incentive points uh, upper than some threshold, we can't apply in any company. So we have to attend all those sessions to uh, gain the incentive points and um, some activities will be going on, mock interviews like some tests, mock tests. We have to do all these with our curriculum, academic curriculum uh, from July to September. Then it is coming that some PPTs pre-placement talks will be started uh, from September to October end. So many companies will come there and give their what uh, they are offering and what is the uh, location of our job. The entire uh, description of jobs they will discuss and um, we will attend this session and here also uh, we are given incentive points. So we have to attend those PPTs also. Now from September only, the online assessments of many companies uh, begins. So in our case, in September and October, some uh, there are less number of companies uh, who uh, and their OAS have been conducted. But in the November month, there are most of the companies that the OAS are conducted. Like you can see that you can say that. In one day, we have also given uh, four, five or six tests um, and most of the tests are offline. We have to go to lecture hall uh, and entire test is being proctored by the uh, officials. So till November uh, 30, we have to give the OAS and the OAS uh, will continually, uh, continuously uh, happening and during the mid -sem and end -sem, there is called something the backout period. Uh, in that time, because our tests are going on, the academic tests, there, there will be no OAS conducted in that um, period. So there are two backup pe back out period and with these uh, till number 30 we are, uh, we are giving all the OAS that companies are conducting and one student can register for only one time of placement session like if you are doing MS, RA, MSTA or MTech RA course that is three years course, you have to uh, sit for only one time of placement. ऐसा नहीं है कि इस बार भी बैठ के उस, उसके बाद वाले जब थर्ड ईयर में रहोगे तब भी बैठ जाओगे ऐसा नहीं होगा एक ही बार तुम प्लेसमेंट में बैठ सकते हो एंड उसमें नहीं होगा तो तुम कुछ नहीं कर सकते 
and uh, this july to december 15 it is called the phase one and then uh, the students that are unfortunately unplaced in phase one that will be uh, they can sit for phase two and phase two begins from january 15th like it has begun uh, mid of january so the main game starts now from the december 1 to december 15 day 1 to day 15 the phase one so uh, in day one there are lots of companies have come and day one placements were superb actually it is better than previous year but from day two it is not that much good uh, from day two three four it is deteriorating and i can means it is not that good than the previous year तुम सोच भी नहीं सकते हर दिन पास होने के बाद कितना डिप्रेशन आता है कितना प्रेशर आता है अपने आप पे क्योंकि तुम सुबह छः बज से रात आठ बजे तक तुम उस इंटरव्यू पैनल में वहाँ पे पड़े रहते हो उस बिल्डिंग में पड़े रहते हो खाना पीना तो छोड़ ही दो तो मल्टीपल रिजेक्शन तुम फेस करते हो अगर तुम्हारा प्लेसमेंट उस दिन नहीं हुआ तो उसके बाद फिर से तुम रात में आते हो उस डिप्रेशन ले उसके बाद तुम्हें फिर से अगले दिन पूरा फुल मोटिवेशन लेके फुल एनर्जी लेके फिर से जाना है वो भी छः बजे नींद तो होता ही नहीं टेंशन में कुछ कुछ बच्चे प्लेस्ट हो रहे होंगे तुम्हारा तुम सोच रहे होंगे तुम्हें कहा गलती किया ऐसे करते करते डे वन डे टू डे थ्री जितना तुम्हारा डे पास होगा ना उतना टेंशन बढ़ता ही रहेगा यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे अच्छे बच्चे हमारे स्टूडेंट पे हमारे बैच में थे जिसको फिफ्टीन इंटरव्यूज भी देने पड़े हैं इस बार ठीक है तो मतलब इस बार का प्लेसमेंट उतना अच्छा नहीं हुआ है पिछली बार की तरह पिछली बार का पूरा स्टेट तो मुझे नहीं पता बट एटलीस्ट सी का मैं बता सकता हूँ कि इस बार इतना अच्छा नहीं हुआ है तो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस स्टेट्स टोटल टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोर देन 1300 जॉब ऑफर्स वर ऑफर्ड एंड द हाइस्ट पैकेज वॉज थ्री करोड़ in the international one and the domestic one is the 1.31 crores so and more than 20 i think 22 students have got the more than one cr package and there are many companies came from japan this year and there are some companies from taiwan north korea and um, singapore netherlands and etc etc the average of the uh, average placement package uh, this year is 24 lakhs that is better than the previous year stats that is showing at uh, 21 lakhs but i feel that this year placements were not that good because the not just average placement package is not that the bar of how good was placement this year so abhi aate hai mtech csc mein is video mein main itna hi batana chahta hu ki mtech csc mein itna is baar pichli baar se bura halat hai मतलब अच्छा प्लेसमेंट नहीं हुआ है इसका बहुत रीजंस है ऐसा नहीं है कि स्टूडेंट्स खराब है स्टूडेंट्स बहुत अच्छे थे इस बार हमारे बैच बहुत अच्छा था बट फिर भी कुछ बैड लक तुम कह सकते हो कुछ में रिसेशन मार्केट सीनियर भी अच्छा नहीं है तो इसके लिए इस बार प्लेसमेंट उतना अच्छा नहीं हुआ बाकी पूरा एम टेक का स्टैट्स पूरा मैं डिस्कवर करूँगा अगले वीडियो में so till then bye bye uh, if you like the video please like comment share it among your friends and if you have any doubt regarding this or regarding gate what type of video i should make uh, right now and for the longer period you can comment it down so bye bye and and also uh, i forgot to mention please please subscribe my channel bye bye